then yes. The, the people who are pro- Sam, think about this. The people who are protesting in authoritarian countries against these cartoons, these people are not allowed to protest, right? How, how did all 100,000 protesters or whatever the number was show up into authoritarian squares that are closed off for demonstrations? And that those images are repeated on Western media and we see, oh, look at all those Muslims are so emotional, right? This, this was politicized by certain actors with their own interests in mind. And like those are the people, those actors are the ones that I want to isolate and that I want to oppose by supporting the leftists and progressives who are opposing them rather than saying, let's paint a blank brush and say it's all Muslims. That's my ideology and that's what I'm trying to do. And I don't think it's helpful. No one one has said, I have never said it's all Muslims. In fact, every time I talk about this, I'm careful to differentiate the, again, the concentric circles of commitment to these ideas, right? So yes, there are many Muslims who don't care about cartoons, but many, many more Muslims are dodging the issue the way I think you're dodging it here, which is How am I dodging it? Please there, tell me how I'm dodging There it. is an intolerable difference between the status quo in the Muslim world and the Muslim world is, not, is now our world. It's not just in the Middle East. There's a difference between how Muslims will respond at whatever percentage we're talking about to criticism, to jokes, to art they don't like, to novels they don't like, and even haven't read but just heard they wouldn't like if they read them, to dissidence, to apostasy, to free speech. I mean, you know, I could give you the same deal I gave Glenn Greenwald, I and mean, we can settle this with a duel of cartoon contests, right? You do a you do a cartoon contest for Islam, and I'll do one for any other religion on earth. Mm. You want to take me up on that? Well, I mean, let, let me think about this at least. Okay, yeah, and then send me a postcard from the Witness Protection Program. Yeah, I mean, look. No, 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 no but don't change the subject. This, I'm not changing the, the subject. Status I'm just wanting to hear. The status quo here really is intolerable. That you just no, I, no, but it's not simplistic because it would completely fuck up your life. Okay, is Islam the problem here? Yes. Is Islam the problem? It's not the politics and the, the, the political actors. on the- No, because there are people with no political grievances, personally none, right? People who are just living their lives, but who... I'll tell you, here, here's a story, right, that I'm, I'm simply one node away from which, I mean, this is technically hearsay. I mean, I wasn't in the room when this happened, but this is a a story which I believe to be factual. One of my own doctors, okay, was having lunch with an Indian Muslim doctor in India, right? And Mm -hmm. brought up the Salman Rushdie affair. And this is now going back decades to this closer to the, this is when Rushdie was in hiding and he had, you know, his excruciating security concerns. So he, two colleagues talking, right? You know, and you know the doctor I know is an incredibly well esteemed doctor, and presumably his Indian colleague was a real doctor. He certainly said he was, and they brought this up, and he asked him what he thought about this, and he said that he would have killed Rushdie with his own hands. Mm. Okay, now this is not a. T- this may what, be. A, what, this may how be did a your m- friend respond, or how did your doctor respond? But I mean, just horrified. I mean, a horror that you know ends relationships and eclipses all possibility of conversation. Right? There's nothing yeah. to say. Right? I mean, you and I are having a hard enough time having a conversation. But well, I would I, have I, sat there and debated that person. Okay. Well, but, because okay, I didn't figure out why, where, why does he think that. Okay, Point to yeah, me in the yeah, Quran where he, it says you can kill. He told him it, he be, he believed it was a religious obligation. This, the, 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 okay. the, the man had blasphemed. The penalty for blasphemy is death. Yeah. This is not that's rocket total, science, Omer. That's that's total total bullshit. And he should have sat there. It's and, not and bullshit. Are, are you telling me that, that 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 you cannot get a the penalty for blasphemy being death out of a reading of the hadith? I mean, look. So first of all, many Muslims don't adhere yes, to many Muslims the, don't ignore and, the and hadith. And some do. Okay, look. Totally. Some do. Once let, again, let, he doesn't answer a yes or no all question. The people who who protest in in the squares? Okay, and let's take all of their views as given and even as authentic. Um, you still would not be able to reduce their protesting, their their demands, um, their very totalitarian mindset to just a reading of the text, which is what you want to focus on. There are all these other political factors that they still what, that are what still is by the, their What is the political factor of a well-to-do Muslim doctor in India? But I don't know this guy. Being I mean, pre- you're asking no, me to, you're but, giving me but, one view of his... No, but these examples, these examples are endless. He, he's a fascist, okay? Maybe that, that, no. that, that's it to me. No, he's, just, to know. he's, no, he's just someone who thinks that the penalty for blasphemy is death for, re- yeah, for rather he, obvious because religious Because it says reasons. it in the Quran. Right, he's on a political spectrum that